Hey, and thank you for clicking play. Um, and today, yeah, just another video from my mate Tim, actually, and anybody else that wants to watch. Um, Last Ninja, um, Tim, you said was one of your um, other favourite games. I didn't have it on the C64, which is why I didn't cover it last week. Um, and um, <clears throat> some of you watched that C64 video early because I accidentally dropped it on the wrong week. But anyway, um, I gave Tim access early um, as soon as it was recorded. So last Ninja, I've downloaded the Amiga files, and I was going to think oh, I'll write that to disk, but it's three disks worth, um, so I'm not going to play it on the physical Amiga because, again, this is an opportunity to um, show people how to get back into Amiga um, if you don't have original kit. So I'm actually going to be playing it in Amiga Forever. Now, if you're not familiar with Amiga Forever, obviously there are other ways of emulating um, Amiga on modern um, computers. This is my preference because it's just simple set up and go. Um, obviously, if you want to do it for free, but you still need to buy the ROMs if you're doing it legit, is just to use WinAE, which essentially is what this is behind the scenes anyway. But I enjoy this as a package. You can just buy it online. I will put a link to the website. Um, not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form, uh, but I'll put a link in the description for if you're interested in Amiga Forever. And also to win UAE, actually, you know, for whatever. But... Um, this you can buy cheaper online, but when you buy the DVD, I think it's still the case. Um, then you actually get, obviously get the physical discs, which include video footage of of, of Commodore. I nearly showed you my serial numbers. Um, when Commodore were um, you know in business, and also when they shut up business as well. So it's a really nice sort of thing to have as a physical thing. And obviously, it's a nice easy install, which is why I like it. And when you buy the DVD, I think it's still the case. Um, I didn't even realize, but you basically get lifetime membership. So I bought version eight, um, and I'm now on version 10 and I get those upgrades for free. So Mike from Cloanto, who runs the show, um, it emails them out when they're ready and emails you a new serial key as well. And what you also get is, um, C64 forever. So you can emulate Commodore 64 as well. So, here we go. um, so let's get into it. That's how I'm going to play it today because it's a nice, easy way to play um, The Last Ninja, which I've never played before. And also when I down do download ADFs, this is how I generally test them. So I'm just going to, I'm using OBS to record today on my PC, which means you'll get some nice clear footage, hopefully. There we go. So Amiga Forever, I've got Commodore 64 Forever as part of the package. Amiga Forever, let's fire that up can show you how it works as part of this as well. Mega Forever, ever since version is it 10, I think they introduced this, or was it 9? It might have been 9, I can't remember. Um, but you now have a carousel, whereas before it used to just be drop-down menus, so that's quite nice. There we go. And that should boot just into the Kickstart screen. There we go. Oh. And you should be hearing the drive tick. Now, I've just thought I'm going to have to plug in my headphones, otherwise you're going to get an echo. Okay, cool. Um, and what I'm going to use for controlling today is just one of these cheap SNES copy controllers. They actually plug in via USB. You can get those anyway. They're not great, but they're not expensive, which is what I like. So one thing you can do in Amiga Forever, I mean, I could just click on the disk file and it would automatically boot Amiga Forever boot that disk into Amiga Forever. That's one way of doing it, but I like doing it this way. Hold down Escape on my keyboard, and I'm going to go Insert Disk Image File, and I'm going to find where the hell I put <laughs> Last Ninja. Um, other games? Yes. And Last Ninja. Okay, expand that out. And we've got disk one of three, two of three, and three of three. So let's go disk one of three. And that will boot it. So it's as if I've just put a disk in an Amiga. Beautiful. I actually find Amiga Forever, um, obviously these are all hacked images, so you're gonna get cracked rows. I find Amiga Forever actually, um, replicates the disk noises quite well. Like if you've got a disk image that is a failed copy, so say like I tried to copy Barbarian, and that didn't work. The the fail sounds sound and the seek sounds sound just like 
what I get with the physical disc. It's amazing. Uh, okay, so this is the game. I thought that might be a crack trick. <clears throat> I'm going to have to turn something down here. Okay, do you want to restore a save game? No. I do want to get a more amigri wireless keyboard. I'm, I'm just using this, you know. Oh, and it doesn't feel very amigri. Probably the most amigri one I can, you know. I've got one of these old Microsoft ones down underneath here. That feels actually quite amigri. Not dissimilar. And at least it's the right color. But the one I'm using is at least wireless. So that's nice. Okay, last ninja, here we go. Never played this before. Is it working? Is it doing anything? Right, no. So we might have to set up controls. So again, this is like plugging in a joystick. You'll see the joystick port is empty here. So I'm gonna go PC device. Um, so I want this to be a gamepad. And is that working now? Yes. So this gamepad is now working. And I think it's the X button is your fire button. Or maybe not. We'll figure it out. Anyway, so that's working. Never played this before. Uh-oh. Um, I might want to try and figure out these buttons because... Okay, apparently I beat him. I'm not too sure how, but I'm not gonna complain. Uh, I don't have any weaponry, so... Okay. Oh, I can do a spinny thing. I've got a sword on my back. How do I use it? I don't know. Now look, ninjas... Oh, here's a sword. Oh, maybe I've just got the sheath. Now I need to get that sword, I assume. Give me the sword. Give me the freaking sword. I want the sword! I'm pressing space, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> what move is that? Give me the sword. remaining let's get back I want look surely I can pick up that freaking sword it wants me to right I love the poses so if I hold down the fire button it does that down does that Back does that. Up does that. Back does that. <laughs> what is he doing? Fantastic dancer. Um, that does, down does that. I'm trying the diagonals. Oh, oh, he likes it. He likes that. <laughs> Last ninja, Tim. <laughs> and then... <laughs> sword maybe it's from this side it's probably a picky about where I have to be to pick it up it's probably the problem there's gonna be an edit here I'm going to look up the controls for last ninja on my phone okay so I'm on lemon Amiga good website I'll put a link in the description um, to these controls in fact here we go. There are many items around the game that the ninja must pick up to do this correctly. The ninja must be precisely positioned on the roadway. 
By using the joystick positions 1, 3 and 5 and 7, you can move him across the road into the position. See pickup description later. <laughs> I thought you were just telling me. <clears throat> Pick up objects, an entirely different section. Uh, uses the crouch movement. To pick up anything, your hands must be touching the object. So the, with the ninja must, hands must be actually touching the object in order for him to collect it. Once you have identified the location of an object, position the ninja so that with his hands are outstretched during the crouch move. What? <laughs> so, what's the crouch move? That's the crouch move. And it has to be so that his hands touch the sword as you crouch. I told you I'd have to be in just the right place, didn't I? Got it. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Right. How do I use that now? How do I hold the weapon? Oh, I press space. Okay, that's good. That's intuitive. Okay, do any of these other buttons do that? No, because the Amiga's not expecting me to have such a cool joystick. Okay. We know jumping in the river is bad. Let's go this way. Now, I'm a bit confused, Tim. He's a ninja, right? But he's running along the middle of the road. If you're a ninja, wouldn't you hide? <laughs> wouldn't you go by the bushes? Oh no, quick. Where's my sword? Here's my sword. Come here, I'll have you. Oh, come here, you blackguard. Um, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting a bit stabbed here. Ah. Come on. Let your enemy come to you. Art of war. Blackguard. Nope, nope. He's again. It's down to standing in exactly the right spot, and that's not where I am. He kicked me in the butt. He kicked me in the butt, and then he kicked me in the nads, and that was the end of me. Right, I've got full health. Let's do this. Ah, 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 you fiend. Yeah, have it. Gotcha. I'll teach you for kicking me in the bum and the nads. Yeah, ninjas wouldn't just walk up the middle of the road, would they? They'd, they'd be jumping behind these rocks and through the trees, surely. If I was a ninja, that would be what I'd be doing. There we go, so up is doing that. Oh, he kicked me. He did the nads again. Oh, you... I'm purposely using medieval knight phrases rather than sounding potentially racist and trying to impersonate a ninja of the Orient because I'd probably get in trouble. There we go. It's, got, it's like he's using a truncheon. doing you just knock him over the head there we go that seems to be working and there we go oh just oh, there we go. squeeze one out there we go oh can you go in these houses apparently not no no okay up the path we go oh there's something oh what the road's going that way. The road's going that way. And then I go here, and the road's going that way. Change of camera angle. Um, all right, so let's put my sword away. I've got something up here. I assume I have to do my, my squatting manoeuvre. Ha <laughs> ha 
Oh, there we go. His hands weren't touching that. Anyway, I found that. That's good. Looks like some money, I think. Got my, got my sword out. Got my weapon out. Got to keep your weapon out. There we go. I'm just seeing how long we've been recording for. BS doesn't tell me. Be recording at all. Well, there's a key. That's that's got to be a thing, right? I'm gonna every time I want to pick something up, I'm gonna use that pose in real life. That should be a um, should be a challenge. I want video responses of people doing this maneuver to pick things up in real life. Honestly, you're picking something up off your game shelf, guys, using this. That's your pose when you do it. In your next video, let's have this as a secret nest egg thing for any other YouTubers that watch my channel. Secret nest egg trend. Whenever you pick something up on your channel, on your next video, you got to... <laughs> that, that, that's your pose. That should pick it up. All right? That's a thing. Oh, quick. Die, blaggard. Oh, slap, stab him in the face. There we go. See, I'm qualified for this because I played Ninja Master last week, so... You know, um... That means I know things. I know how to take Shrikens in the face. Yeah, come on. No challenge, you guys. Oh, bonsai tree. Can we have a little bonsai tree? Set up a little shop, maybe. <clears throat> oh, now we're here. Oh, there was a T-junction back there somewhere, wasn't there? Run, little ninja, run! Um, I can see why you like this, though, Tim, because it's got some fighting, and it's very... Because you, you like Saboteur, I know that, and this is kind of similar. But obviously it's more isometric 3D than, than your 2D of Saboteur. And it's, yeah, similar process. You've got a mission, you've got to run around, you've got to pick up items, you've got to unlock things. Um, you've got a health bar. I can, I can see why you would like the two combined, really. I'm doing a pickup, guys. <laughs> Extra points if you can pick up in a pub using that technique. Okay, um, that's quicksand. <laughs> that's that's quicksand. And I think that's the end of the game, is it? Oh no, I've got one more. So, am I meant to jump across the logs? This is my last life. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe you had to jump onto those logs. <sighs> Do you want to restart this level? No. There we go. It's no fun watching somebody that doesn't know how to play a game play a game. But so really, it was just from mate Tim, because he likes Last Ninja. And there you go, Tim. I don't know if that resurrects those memories. If it was on the Amiga or the C64 that you played it. That was the Amiga version, and um, yeah, that was quite enjoyable. All right, thanks for watching. Remember how to pick up items. Bye.